What's up, YouTube? Hey, Guard Dreamer here. I'm being a little quiet because my wife is sleeping over there right now. Uh, good morning, Sunday morning. Hope you all had an awesome 4th of July. Uh, we just stayed in the house. Uh, we went at home a day early um, just because the hotel that we were staying at, there's nothing, listen, when you go to a hotel and you book a room um, based on some big, you know, things close to the city, uh, active swimming pool, just things to do, uh, hot breakfast and stuff like that. <clears throat> so when we get there, obviously they're not doing hot breakfast because of the COVID-19. So that was like, okay, well, we go to our room and our room is, is nice, uh, except for a couple little minor things I didn't care for. And the shower on the ceiling had some mold on it. Uh, I mean, spots of it. So uh, anyway, my wife cleaned that. Um, but the swimming pool was closed and they said it was closed too because the pump was uh, bad. So we said, okay, we'll deal with it. Maybe they'll open it up. Well, it never opened. So I told my wife, I said, you know, let's just go home uh, a day early, uh, save a little money, not give this hotel any more money. So we did, we decided to come home a day early and we did. Um, but on the way home, we stopped at a flea market. I went to the flea market up there. It was really, it was pitiful. It was very pitiful. But we stopped at a flea market up in Jacksonville. And um, I told my wife, I said, give me 30 minutes. I'm going to run through this. Uh, it was a pretty large flea market, but I was targeting certain things. And so I went through and I found this guy. And he had a bunch of cards uh, there. Um, and his prices were very reasonable, at all, absolutely reasonable. And um, so I saw, I said, hey, you know, I like to buy it in bulk. I don't like to buy it in, you know, just buy single cards because that's what I do. And he says, well, I've got some boxes back here that are in bulk that haven't been through yet. Uh, you're more than welcome to them. Uh, they're not organized. I don't know what's in it. I can't, you know, I couldn't guarantee anything. So I said, well, what do you want? He says, I want $15 a box. And I said, well, how many boxes do you have? He says, I have three. I said, look, I'll take all three, give you 10 bucks a box, and I will take the chance and the risk. He said, okay, good. Perfect. We made a deal. So I'm going to show you what uh, I have found as for the Ravens so far in this box. Hold on. So, so far, this is the piles of Ravens in years 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000s. Uh, that is the stack of rookies right there in the back. Um, so this is what I found in the first two boxes that I've gone through, uh, and we'll take a look at what they are. So anytime you can get a box of Baltimore Raven base cards, which are amazing to me, um, and you get things like this, Peter Bulwer, uh, this is a short print rookie, uh, Jonathan Starks, Jonathan Ogden, Hall of Famer rookie, Bam, Another John Starks, Stark, Stark, Stark. This really killer select Jonathan Ogden rookie. And that was worth it in at least one box. This is a ten dollar card, so that pays for a box of its own. Stokely rookie, Stony Case. This is a killer finest uh, insert. Right there, finest Kurt Warner on the back. Then you got a uh, Therese Red, uh, Redman, numbered to a thousand. Jamal Lewis. So those are the rookies. And then the regular sets, because I am a base collector and I'm a Ravens base collector, uh, this is just absolutely awesome for me. Um, the biggest card I found for the Ravens, I already put it away. Uh, actually, I'll go get it real quick. As you see, all my base sets, all my base uh, Raven base cards has a list, and the highlighted are the ones that I have, and they all have a list for every card that was made uh, for that particular year, and then it goes into the binder, but the big card I found, which really was killer, um, one is the Jonathan Ogden right there for the top's finest rookie card, which is awesome, and the other big one, that I got, and if you give me one second, was the Fleer Rookie Sensations Jonathan Ogden. So that was really cool. 
Uh, let me show you these boxes. So these are the three boxes. This is how full each box is. There's different products in there. You've got the 96 uh, Select. Um, some of it was penny sleeved. Uh, so Tony Banks. And it's all different. finest so and it's all like that throughout the whole boxes which is pretty cool and like I said there's three of them so those are the boxes uh, there's so much in there uh, there is this set that I'm going to try to put together huge 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 stack of the flat finest uh, 2000 uh, 1996 finest and they're all, you know, huge, huge, huge stack of it. So I'm going to try to put that set together. There's probably enough. There's only 180 cards in that set. The biggest one in there is the Ray Lewis. Uh, and it's going to be pretty pricey. I don't know what the set's worth. And I know I could buy a whole set for 50 bucks on eBay. But it might be fun worth it, you know. If I can pick up the, uh, pick up the Ray Lewis for like 25, 30 bucks, I'd be awesome. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for checking it out. Peace. God bless. Big dreams, everyone. Big dreams from the car dreamer.